Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologist Gaming. Today, we're gonna do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Rapu B20 Pro Gaming Mouse. Now, let's begin. The packaging of the mouse has a premium feel in it. Inside includes a hard plastic that protects the mouse, the Rapu B20 Pro Gaming Mouse, and a user manual. The USB cable is packed inside a small packaging. Now let's go to the specifications and features. The Rapu B20 Pro has a length of 127.49 mm, a width of 78.36 mm, a height of 41.31 mm, and weighs at 165 grams. The B20 Pro has an ergonomic shape design for right-handed users. The bottom part of the back of the mouse slightly flares out so your thumb and pinky finger are clear of the mouse pad. This helps you gain more control of the device. It is very comfortable to hold for a large mouse thanks to its rubberized groove sides. The USB cable is braided to make the device more sturdy. It includes a Belco strap for easy cable management. The USB is also gold plated. The mouse has a total of 7 buttons on its body. The left and right clicks use their own Rapu switches for their mouse rated at 15 million clicks. Its two thumb buttons are located just above where your thumb will rest. The DPI adjustment buttons on the top have switches that have slightly more resistance to press to avoid accidental changes of your DPI. Let's plug in the mouse. The RGB of the mouse is bright. You can see the lights on the sides, in the logo, and at the bottom, which can be modified in the software. To appreciate the RGB lighting, I will turn off the lights. The built-in driver that you can install offers a lot of modification that the mouse stores in its onboard memory. The app also allows you to tweak the RGB settings of the B20 Pro. You can also program macros into the mouse and can tweak the DPI all the way to 8000 in increments of 50. In the trophy tab, you will see how many times you click the buttons of your mouse. The most interesting feature of the mouse is the proximity sensor. When not in use, the mouse powers down all the RGB lighting. But when it senses your hand or anything moving near it, the mouse will light up. Also, one of its features is a DPI LED indicator. Every time you change the DPI, a corresponding color will represent the current DPI. You can own a Rapu B20 Pro mouse at the price of 1,475 pesos, which you can buy at Joya Marketing and PC Express near you. Here are the things that I like about the mouse. First, the proximity sensor. I really like this feature because it really helps me when I'm watching a movie or not doing anything at all. As what I said, it will turn off the RGB lighting if I'm not using the mouse. Second, the RGB lighting. I am a fan of RGB, so I really appreciate how bright the lighting is. It really stands out for me. Here are the things I don't like about the mouse. First, the bulky build of the mouse. It's a great mouse, I agree, but I don't like the large build of the mouse. 
I experienced a wear out in using the mouse for a long period of time, on the first two weeks. But when my hand gets used to it, I did not experience wear outs anymore. While playing Apex Legends, you can see in my gameplay that when I'm looting, I always go back and forth because I'm not still familiar in using this mouse. We, FPS players, can agree that we need some familiarity or specific settings in using our peripherals. Second, the grip style. You will be forced to use a palm grip in using the mouse because of its large size. So other people that uses a different grip will not like the mouse. Overall, the mouse is a great deal because of its features and ergonomic design, which is built for palm grip users. But sadly, not for other people who don't want a large mouse and have a different grip style. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.